Hi and welcome to Aussie Kicks. On today's show, well, we're finally getting around to building this that's just been released from Kyosho, the Dirt Master. Now, I've already done an unboxing video of this, so I'll put a link up here. Go check that out if you haven't seen it already, and then come back to this video as you're going to miss to find out what's all inside this box. So in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to build up all the chassis. I'm going to look at all the components. Also, I've got a ton of upgrade parts that are going to go onto this as well. And then I'll give you my thoughts on the build process and where to watch out for any kind of little issues that might crop up on your build. So if you'd like to see how this car turned out, stay tuned. Hit it, Charlie. So we kick off on step one and I've got my first mod part and that's this one, swapping it out for the carbon composite version of it. The carbon composite ones are fractionally lighter and stronger, but it's only marginal. So it's all really down to what you're going to do with the buggy. If you're going to take it racing and you're looking at racing as seriously as possible, then yeah, you can kind of justify these. Otherwise, you're kind of upgrading just for a bit of fun. So that's the front bulkhead done. If you are struggling to find the metal part that goes in there, which is this part here, which is UM585, that's because it comes in a bag, it's not on here. It actually is a piece of metal. Now here's one I struggled with for a while until I figured out what's the best way to do it, and that is you're doing the spring for the servo saver and you've got to screw this part on, but it's under tension. And I really struggled. At first, I was trying to do it pushing down to tighten it. That's why you've got these rings here. That didn't work. But what I found was if you take a screwdriver, this is a Tamiya screwdriver, you can actually push it all the way through. I'm not gonna be able to do this here. With one hand, you actually push this all the way through. Then what you do is you push down on this and then you can turn it with your fingers. So one hand holds this, pushing it in, and then you can just turn this with your fingers, and that did it really easily. So there's a little tip for you. Hope that makes sense. Also, while we're working on the steering, don't forget this kit comes with bearings for the drive line, but not for the actual steering. So you need to pick up some 5x8x2.5s, which is what I've got here. Standard bearings, easy to get hold of. So definitely pick up some of those before you start this kit. Also, this kit doesn't come with any oil for the shocks, so you need to pick some up. Later on, I cover the kind of oil weights that I put in mine. So the steering's all now in. I did actually have an issue with this top plate where the actual steering comes out. You see the screw sticks out there. I thought I'd put the wrong screw in, but if you go and look in the manual, that's actually how it is. Uh, where is it? You can see there. It actually does stick out. That is normal, but it was clipping on the top of that. See how close that is? I don't know if you can see that. See how close? It was actually scratching on it. So I've had to file it down a little bit to get it to run clear. Not sure what's going on with that, but uh, I don't know if it's to do with having this carbon chassis instead, carbon composite chassis. But one thing I did notice is you don't just get total plastic. There is a few parts that are actual uh, carbon composite. This top piece here is the same as my chassis. So uh, that's one part you don't need to upgrade. They actually left that one as per the original uh, kit. But we carry on, it's going together, but slow going because of this whole stupid number system. This is all great, but trying to find it on here, you have to reference it back. It's a real faff. So it kind of takes out some of the joy and slows you down loads. So as you can see, you can save quite a bit of weight using the carbon composite parts. The chassis is obviously the biggest savings where you can save about 15, 16 grams. Now you can pick up quite a few composite parts. You can get the towers, the back bulkhead, the front tower, the chassis, the battery clip, 
and a few other bits and pieces. Also the rear diff housing, which I have, you can get that in carbon composite. So you can save quite a large bit of weight across the whole car. You can also get a ball diff instead of the actual metal uh, gear diff that you've got here. That's another option. The housing like I have here, Another thing you want to be careful of, the actual copper collar that you saw there, you have to remove that before you fit the mount and the plate for the motor. Then you put the copper uh, collar back on again afterwards. That caught me out a little bit. Now this is a part that I don't actually have in composite. I have actually found one, it's in America, so I'm having it sent over. So I will have to dig into the car again to replace it at a later date. One thing that you need to be careful of when you're fitting the rear motor guard, it actually slots into the bottom part of the rear of the chassis. You have to undo the screws to make a gap to slide it in. That was a little bit strange and caught me out as well. Also, I'd recommend putting a little bit of grease on the actual tie rods as they are very stiff. And if you don't, when you fit them to the car and you want to adjust them later on, you will keep popping them off Now we turn our attentions to the shocks and a tip that you definitely need to do on these is the collars are threaded and they are super tight being that they're all plastic. So a bit like the tie rods, you definitely want to lubricate the actual collars themselves and the thread. Otherwise later on when you're adjusting the tension of the shocks, they are so tight and you actually end up turning the whole shock itself. So save yourself a lot of hassle and grease up the actual threads. Now I did have a Kyosho brushless motor, an ESC, so I'm gonna use it in this car, but I need a low profile servo, otherwise it won't fit in this buggy. that's the chassis built and the quality is kind of as you'd expect from Kyosho everything lines up exactly as it should you don't have to fight with any of the whole lining up or anything like that plastics I am happy to report they're just as good as the Genova pretty much on par as you would expect from Kyosho now the, the thing that I found the most challenging with this build is the manual <laughs> The manual lets this car down completely. It's nothing like the Legendary series. There's this whole issue of not being able to find each part on the tree by number. It just gives you the tree and you've got to figure it out. Well, obviously if it's the bigger parts, that's very obvious, but there is a lot of shims, a lot of plastic shims in this kit. And you just got to constantly keep referencing the front of the manual to then get the tree to find out which one on the tree it is. What I actually ended up doing was cutting them off, putting them in the pile, and then just measuring them with a set of calipers. It was quicker to do that for me than it was to keep jumping to the other the front of the manual then getting the tree making sure you got the uh, orientation correctly and then that's the right one it was a bit of a faff and that's what lets down this build the most now if you're thinking about building a cure show and this is going to be your first one it's not standard across the whole board if you get one of the legendary series they build much nicer but once you've finished and you've sorted out and figured out all the little tiny shims the car itself is really nice. Now I've cut out the body and now we've got to paint it up. Now a lot of people, which is another thing that I really like about this kit, are not overly sold on this uh, red uh, box art as it looks a little bit boring. So I'm going to do something a little bit different and I'm going to try and push the boat out and spend a bit more time on this body. So let's crack on and get the body done. <music> 